Hello viewers, now chemistry labs can usually buy their chemicals but for a home scientist buying chemicals can be a very challenging task. So in this video we will see finding interesting chemicals from just a dry cell. Now this method is very common but very innovative at the same time. This is a dry cell or a 1.5 volt battery which is used in wall clocks. So I am going to open this dry cell and we'll discover the chemicals within this now one thing before starting i would say is that be very careful what kind of cell you use i'll suggest not to use a brand new cell because it will contain fresh unreacted chemicals which are actually meant to be used to make electricity and not breaking it up we'll use a used up cell or a one which is partially used so the first thing just remove its upper case in some cells it is a plastic case like in this one and some also have a metal case now the next thing is to take this cap out so for this i can take it off using the screwdriver we have to be very careful you mean you should not injure your hand yeah so here it is now if you see here this metallic casing this is a metal zinc a very important required chemical in the lab and this black cylindrical structure you can see is a rod of carbon to open this up i think we can hammer it over the top okay so here i have torn this metal and i can i think cut it across Make sure if it gets hot, leave it there, don't proceed. This one is cool. It's not difficult to do at all because inside we'll see what exists. Just tear it anyway. Don't have to worry about if it remains fine. But be careful not to damage your hands. Now just see what lies inside here. Now below the metal casing you can see a brown color paper is there. Now this is little wet. Now this is because of a chemical which has been soaked in this that is ammonium chloride. Now but we cannot extract ammonium chloride from here. So the outer metal casing is the zinc metal that is one of our important chemicals to be derived from a cell. So we can keep this part aside here and we have to discard out this paper let's take it off it will be having some white patches here of ammonium chloride just ignore that now inside you can see this powderous substance which may be wet or which may be dry it is good it is good if it's dry because wet means that you are breaking a cell which yet to be consumed a lot so that would be a brand new cell and it's then difficult to break it open so a cell that is used up is comparatively easy to break this is nor too old nor too new so i think we can hammer this out now in this cell what's the problem is that the cylindrical rod that we saw initially has been partially broken in the process of opening it you can see here in the center after removing the powder you can see a rod a cylindrical rod this cylindrical rod this is actually the positive terminal and this powder is actually manganese dioxide 
our third important chemical though this is not pure it has some impurities of carbon in this but it is absolutely fine with chemical reactions because carbon is not going to react with much of many of the chemicals so this is manganese dioxide or MnO2 So here I have cleaned it partially. Now here are our three important chemicals. This is from another cell. Now this carbon rod, full size carbon rod C. Very important for electrolysis reactions in the chemistry lab. A very important tool. This one manganese dioxide or MnO2 the formula again used in chemical reactions. And this zinc metal a very important metal which can be used in reactions. And also you can see I have stained my hands terribly with this manganese dioxide uh, though you can go for gloves by breaking out the cell in fact I can wash this off by applying some vinegar over this which will dissolve the manganese dioxide the acid in the vinegar will dissolve these stains and it will be fine in just a moment so you can use these to update your science lab at home itself and do remember the thing I told in the beginning always use a cell which is suitable if a cell is getting hot do not use it abandon the process there itself always use a used up cell that is easier to break so thank you for watching this video and keep watching curiosity catalyst videos keep liking subscribing and sharing and keep experimenting thank you